What's up, everybody? Doc Dog 5 There's levels to this. We need to talk about PlayStation. I'm going to start the video by saying that I am a PlayStation fan. A lot of you already knew this, but I am a PlayStation fan. Do not get it confused, okay? I understand what PlayStation is when it comes to video games. Let me rephrase that. I believe who PlayStation has showed me they are as a gamer. That's a better statement. Because depending on when you came into knowing PlayStation will depend on what your opinion of PlayStation is. I became a PlayStation fan during the PS3 era, okay? And even then, I didn't get to play all the major games. I've never had that amount of time on my hands. I've never been that enthusiastic about video games as some of you guys are out there. However, I, I loved the single-player, third-person, over-the-shoulder action games. The same games that now you see me on my videos making fun of and everything. I loved those games. And if I'm honest with you, I still love those games to some degree. The difference is that because I have been open to a different variety of different games, I see the value in gameplay over everything else that Sony does extremely well, and that is my identity with Sony. Understand this. PlayStation makes great games. I say that without even stuttering. This is not a capping video. This is not a console war video. And yes, I do love the console wars. Yes, I'm a grown man that talks about plastic boxes and wars about them. Yes, I am. Judge me however you want. But this is not that type of video. I'm being honest with you because I see a problem now that I see other people are not calling it out. There's a weird divide right now between the PlayStation community. And I feel like, you know what? It's time for me to admit that I am a PlayStation fan as well. Not as big as I'm an Xbox fan, but I'm a PlayStation fan as well. PlayStation makes great games. God of War Ragnarok, when you look at God of War Ragnarok, visually it is stunning. It runs extremely well, the performance of the game. 120 hertz, even if you don't need that in that game, there's an option for it there. Spider-Man, even though it's a remastered, beautiful looking game, runs extremely well. Horizon Forbidden West, beautiful looking game, runs extremely well. Ratchet and Clank, beautiful looking game, runs extremely well. These are games that are beautiful works of art. And that's why it makes sense why the PlayStation community loves doing photo mode. And that's what you see screenshots of the most are mostly PlayStation games. And when Spider-Man comes out, it's not going to be any different. PlayStation can and does make quality games. Now, if you yourself, as you're playing the game, get bored with the games, then that's, that's a gameplay issue, which is still perfectly valid. Trust me. I thought God of War Ragnarok looked amazing, plays amazing, but I got bored. I couldn't finish it. This is real. When I played Horizon Forbidden West, same thing. It looked amazing, was beautiful, but I finished it, but I, I, I grinded to finish that game. I thought Zero Dawn was better. When you're making games like this, it, it, it depends what you're going to put all your eggs in what basket. Do you want your eggs to look great, to run great, and to also taste great? Sometimes you get lucky and you get all of the above. You get a great looking game that runs perfect and has amazing gameplay. But most of the times you're going to sacrifice something. Sony is known to sacrifice a little bit or a lot of bit of gameplay to give you a compelling story and something that you could visually look at and just be in awe. That's ha that has been my experience with the PlayStation with the Sony brand. When I first got a PS3... Correct me if I'm wrong. You guys could look it up. I believe I got the Uncharted 3 bundle. Or maybe it was the Uncharted 2 bundle. Uncharted 3 bundle. And it came with Uncharted uh, 3. And if you guys remember, I've always been a bargain... Uh, a, a, what they call it? Bargain bin gamer. So I remember I went to, to, to GameStop. And they had like the 2 for 30 deal or whatever. And they had the other two Uncharted. And I remember I played Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. And even though all three games were essentially the same game, I loved them. Is a third person over the shoulder. I'm shooting. The same things that I make fun of. Hey, where can I climb? I can only climb where there's yellow stuff. That's what Uncharted is all about. You can't climb every single ledge. However, I had no problem with it. I enjoyed the game. I had fun with the game. 
the gameplay was easy the gameplay was simple wasn't anything crazy but i enjoyed the game i believed in the story and the game to me looked beautiful when i played um infamous same thing i enjoyed the game now i will give it to infamous infamous had better gameplay than it had visuals in my opinion that's one of those games where sony was like nah we got you we're gonna go ahead and give you great gameplay i love that game it was amazing then you fast forward to the ps4 right games on the ps4 same thing just looked amazing when i played horizon zero dawn i remember i was in all of the story i was in all of figuring out what was going to happen at the end and how beautiful the game looked the gameplay was eh. it was it was okay then when you play games like god of war 3 on the playstation 4 I remember playing that game and just looking at it and just being in awe. Same thing. Just, wow, this looks grandiose. This looks crazy. This looks amazing, right? And the gameplay was good, right? But the story element, it, it, I'm, I'm telling you right now, uh, God of War 3 is probably one of those games that Sony probably hit every single nail on the head. I would give probably God of War 3 that, 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 that accolade. And I know there's many other games that I haven't played yet that Sony has under their belts like that. So when I'm looking at this generation and Sony drops Zero Dawn, Horizon Zero Dawn, oh no, Horizon Forbidden West, all it's missing is a little bit of gameplay element to make the game a little bit more fun. No, 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 the, the story, that's what it was. I'm sorry, not the gameplay. The story element of Horizon Forbidden West should have been dialed back a little bit and it would have been beautiful, would have been perfect. Then when you see God of War Ragnarok, to me, the gameplay should have been dialed in a little bit better. I know I make the joke about making Kratos jump, but that's a huge difference, especially after we played 2018 and he couldn't jump in that one either. Not even, not even Atreus can jump? You know what I mean? But, actually, it's funny enough, I actually enjoy Atreus' parts of that game more than I did playing with Kratos, which people thought I was crazy. But no, to me, Atreus is a lot more fun to play with. He's more agile. It actually, feels like, it feels like you're not a tank on tracks and stuff like that. Again, the gameplay. But this only happened after I started playing games on Xbox via Game Pass that were just full of gameplay. A game like ReCore where the story, even though there is a story to it, the main mechanic of the game is just gameplay and chaos going out all at the same time. When you play a game like that and you go back to playing... Uh, 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 a story driven you know and over the shoulder third, it, it, you looking at, you're looking at it a little bit differently you just are but the moral of the story is this though Sony The Last of Us when you play something like The Last of Us oh my god a masterpiece right can't you your masterpiece can't go wrong with it right but the problem is this though when Sony then decides to have a brand new generation and in my opinion, they play it safe, okay, by remastering and remaking games, okay? There's a problem there. A part two is not really a problem. I know I joke around about Spider-Man part two, but that's not really a problem. That's perfectly fine. It's going to be a great game, I'm sure of it, okay? But the remastering and, 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 and the remaking and... and the focusing on something other than that, when you think about what they're going to do with these live service games, that's not Sony's MO. There's a reason why we talk about Sony not having multiplayer games and it's funny and everything because you know and I know that even Sony without multiplayer games, they don't, they don't need them. They don't need them. Sony, keep making this, these big blockbuster titles this is what you're known for and it is perfectly okay nintendo is known for what they're known known for mostly gameplay you're not going to get any deep compelling story on the nintendo switch that's going to make you cry or think about consequences or anything like that it's not happening on that platform that is strictly all gameplay and fun over there and microsoft microsoft this generation cares about nothing else but giving you the greatest value so that they can get you into the ecosystem and hopefully lock you down and they're doing it by any means necessary. That's why that does feel like there's something wrong in the taste of Microsoft. There's something, something a little bit off, right? Sony, if you decide to change what has gotten you here, 
which is those big blockbuster AAA games, you are making a grave mistake. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me. No, they need to do something different, blah, blah, blah. No, they don't. They don't need to do something different. They don't, they've, they've been succeeding this way. People that change are the people that are losing. Microsoft was losing. That's why they had to change. That's why they had to change to be able to entice gamers like me, gamers that aren't willing to pay $70 or full price for the game. If I'm going to pay $70 or full price for a game, when I turn on that game, it better be a beautiful work of art. And that is one thing that I can say whenever I look at Ratchet & Clank, whenever I look at freaking God of War Ragnarok, whenever I look at Horizon Forbidden West, these are beautiful works of art. As far as video game goes and actual gaming, I may have a problem with them, but they're beautiful works of art, and I can see, okay, this is why this game costs $60. This is why I paid full price $70 for this game. I can see that. When my son decides that he wants to pre-order, okay, Spider-Man 2, I already know that game is going to look beautiful and it's going to perform phenomenal because Sony, that's what they deliver. It's not a question. So right now, though, Sony is in a state where they're panicking. They don't know what's going on, and that's why they're making all these dumb decisions. How are you going to make the PS5, I want to I explain this to you. The PS5 digital is more expensive than the PS5 digital. I didn't misspeak. The PS5 digital is more expensive than the PS5 digital. Doc, you make no sense. That's not making any sense. Exactly. Exactly. The PS5 digital is more expensive than the PS5 digital. Well, it's because if you want to go ahead and attach the external drive and all this other stuff, blah, blah, blah. So they're charging you for the technology to be able to attach an external drive. So let me get this straight. So instead of you charging that to the external actual drive, right? Because the problem is if you were to put those extra $50 on the external drive, then you're looking at an external drive that costs $120 and that, and that or $130. And that does look kind of iffy, Right. However, your best solution is to charge everyone that's buying the digital. What if the person that's buying the digital already knows that that's all they want? It's a digital console. The Xbox Series S did sell. People, people know that that's all they're going to get. It's digital. It makes, it, makes, it, makes, it makes no sense. And these decisions are made, are made because of a loss of identity. See, I thought at the beginning of this generation that Microsoft had no identity there. Microsoft had lost its identity. No, 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 no. Microsoft changed its identity and it changed its identity because they had to. And Microsoft now can't go back. They got to die on this sword. Either Game Pass and subscription services and this ecosystem thing works or it doesn't. So when they say that Phil Spencer said he was going to get out of gaming or Xbox going to be out of gaming if this stuff doesn't work, I believe it. They got to die on this sword. They got to die on this hill. They got to they gotta push through. Sony doesn't have to change anything. Keep making these AAA blockbuster games. All you got to do is to drop two or three a year. That's it. Why, why did you look at what Microsoft was doing with subscription service and decide that you had to change yours? Why are you giving movies to your subscribers? What, what are we what, Sony, what are you doing? The Sony PlayStation brand right now has a huge black eye, and it's no longer even fun to talk about the ponies. See, I'm a real PlayStation fan. I bought a PS5 for the exclusives. And even though I haven't had a PS5 exclusive this generation yet that has wowed me beyond my wildest dreams, I've had definitely had way more fun on my Xbox, not even close. It's because the strategy that Microsoft is taking is working on me. The value proposition is working on me. But can't nobody tell me that there's the three games that I mentioned right now, Ratchet and Clank, Horizon Forbidden West, and uh, um, and what was the other one? And God of War Ragnarok. Visually and performance-wise, name three games on the Xbox that rival that. Name three games on the Xbox, again, visually and performance-wise that rival it. Now, if you want to talk about fun factor, then yeah, we could go all day. We could go all day. I will, I will play Starfield over all those three games any day. You can say whatever you want about Starfield. You can say whatever you want about Starfield, but I will play Starfield over the, all those games any day. I played Halo Infinite more than all those games any day. F Forza Horizon 5 more than all those games every day. Forza Horizon 5 maybe could give a run of his money performance-wise, but then again, it's a racing, racing game. It better perform right. 
Look, man, I've been ranting. This is probably the longest video I've made in a while, but I saw what Sony did today, and I don't feel good about it, man. I think it's time that y'all stop console warring and stop talking about Xbox and start calling Sony out. I see a lot of PlayStation channels talking a lot about Xbox, and it's cool and it's fun and dandy when there's no real problems. And there have been small problems on, on the Sony side that you guys have been ignoring, but you can't ignore this. PlayStation is losing its identity and it's taking a gamble on this new thing that it wants to do. For what? What is the reason? Doc Dog went on a father's levels to this. We out. Peace.